So we're going to finish it with uh, two quick presentations. Uh, this one I think is really, really important um, and a concept that I want everyone to think about, especially when, we, when we've when we heard of all these things that we can do to mitigate risk and protect our players. Really excited to uh, welcome Sarah Crisman, Dr. Crisman, to talk about a new approach on not only concussion education, but also pregame safety huddles that would address heat emergencies, cardiac arrest, and emergency action plans. Dr. Crisman, Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thanks so much, George. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, uh, as as uh, George said, I'm Dr. Chrisman. I'm a pediatrician and adolescent medicine specialist in Seattle. And uh, this work is actually work that I do with my colleague, uh, Dr. Crocious, who's a, a health a communication specialist and implementation specialist, which um, unfortunately she's not here tonight, but I, I can sort of talk for both of us. But um, this is, a, you know, as George said, we uh, initially were doing this about concussion and we're actually thinking about kind of it, expanding it. So I'll, I'll talk a little bit about, about that as we go through. So uh, everything takes a team. This was a CDC funded grant. Um, we were lucky enough to have a, a lot of people working on this with us. And so a lot of these people are athletes. You know, we really feel like um, in order to uh, develop really concussion education that fits in the culture of soccer, you really have to start with that from the ground up. So we started from the very beginning saying like, let's talk to athletes and players and coaches and parents, and let's really think about how we could make something that will fit seamlessly. And so George was a huge part of that. So he was a part of this project from the, from the start. Um, and so that was really exciting, really fun to partner with him. Next slide. So what, what is this about? So, you know, we were working in the concussion field and we were like, and I think, you know, Dr. Karath has sort of talked a little bit about this, but one of the big challenges in concussion is kids don't want to tell people that they're injured. And there is a part of it of like, oh, you know, I just feel a little bit off. Is this really, am I really injured? But there's also a part of it of like, I don't want to look like a wimp or like, I don't want the coach to take me out. Um, and so that adults matter. Uh, coaches matter, refs matter, parents matter, all of the adults in that in that context matter. And so we thought, you know, we can do all of this concussion education until we're blue in the face. But at some point, we have to say to kids, we want to know. We want to know if you're injured. Because the truth is, we want to get that kid out of the game. They're going to get back faster. They're going to get better faster if, if we can pull them out and make sure that they don't get a continued injury. Next slide. So what we said is, well, what, what is already happening that we can link on to? And we're like, you know, if you're before the game, taking a few minutes to, to kick someone's you know, shin guards and make sure they don't have earrings on, you know, couldn't you also talk a little bit about concussion in just that time? Um, so we thought about this idea of huddles. So pregame safety huddles, um, adults are already involved in that. And so this idea of like, it could be the coach, it could be the ref, and that's actually, we've experimented a little bit with both. And it also could be the parents, although we've actually focused more on the coaches and the refs. Next slide. So what are pregame safety huddles? Well, the idea is this is really simple, really quick, less than a minute. Um, and that, the you know, it's reviewing some of the things that could happen on the field. So like, what is a concussion? Well, if you get it in the head and you have a headache or you feel dizzy or you're a little out of it, that could be a concussion. And if you, if you keep playing, you could be worse and it's going to take you longer to come uh, to get better and to get back in the field. So let's make sure we take you out and we get you assessed. And we want to know, we want to know if you're injured. Um, and so this is like, we, you know, we, um, next slide. You know, as I said, we were really partnering with all these uh, stakeholders. We're working um, both in Seattle and actually in Georgia, because we also really felt deeply that you have to think about all of the different places this is going to happen. Um, and so we developed these like really short cards and we wanted coaches to adapt this. We actually made these videos, which is really, there's a whole website and stuff I can send people if you're interested. Um, and then we had coaches kind of practice this and like the people would adapt it in different ways. And so some coaches would do sort of a call and response with the kids. Kids. And this was really, we got this down to where it was like 30 seconds a minute before the game. Next slide. And then we said, well, let's do the randomized study. So because I'm a researcher, that's what I do is like, does this really work? Um, so we randomized, we basically had to randomize a whole league to huddles, yes or no. Um, and we ended up with 300 athletes that were in this sample, um, and which sounds like a big number. But when we're thinking about things like uh, concussion, we actually ended up right. The outcome we looked at was like, if you were to get hit in the head, would you tell someone? Um, what's really exciting is that we found it. We found a difference with this is still not a, a not a huge sample so we were really excited to say wow we, we can make a difference even with just you know 300 kids 
And so next slide. So our next step is that we really wanna bring this to the bigger national stage and say like, does this change behavior? So if, if we do this, if we reinforce right before the game, we want to know if you're injured. Um, does that mean that kids are more likely to report? Does that mean that we're getting kids out sooner, that they're getting, you know, appropriately treated and then getting back in, in much sooner um, uh, so that we're feeling good about, about what's happening on the field? So um, more to come, uh, putting in some grants, thinking more about the next steps, but, but hopefully partnering with U.S. Soccer to, to make this happen and make this really feel, you know, our goal too, as I, as I mentioned, we started with concussion, but as we did this, we realized you know, you can talk about anything. So at the beginning of the game, you know, it's a hot day, as we talked about. That's another another thing that in that two seconds, you can mention it's a hot day, take a break. Um, so there's all of these things that I think this could really evolve to be this sort of pregame safety check. -in. Thanks, Dr. Chrisman. I think what, what I will share with everyone, and I'll work with Caitlin and Melissa, is we think the pregame safety huddles is something that we'd like to look into deeper across our membership. And so what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll work with our member associations, the clubs, the coaches to see if we can potentially go deeper than 300 athletes. Um, so we'll follow up with everyone. Um, and if you're interested, please email Caitlin and or Melissa, um, and then we can follow up with you. We do think that, again, taking 30 seconds or a minute with the referee, with both coaches and the players to discuss about this pregame safety huddle will make a difference. Players are going to be more likely to look out for themselves, look out for each other, and then ultimately make our game safer. So more to come with regards to this uh, as we look at this, working with the CDC um, and our partners at Seattle Children's and others across the United States is a, is a way that we think we can make our, our game safer. So Dr. Chrisman, thank you so much for your presentation. And we look forward to working closer with you. Same, same. Very exciting.